This is Matt from 1337 FM, Nerd Talk Radio, and what are you doing with your mouth, Joe? That's an awful, that's an awkward thing to say. Who's Joe? It is. <laughs> who, who are we? I'm, I said I'm Matt. I'm Mike. What, what is the name of our podcast? Oh, 1337 FM, Nerd Talk Radio. <laughs> what's, your, what's your name again? <laughs> this is a very uh, unscripted moment. This is a hot mess. Uh, I'm Mike. And I'm Merck. <laughs> uh, I'm we're Matt. back. And there's a... <laughs> Another being in the room. Yeah, it's the elephant in the room. <laughs> uh, probably our most uh, recognized guest. Esteemed associate, you yeah. would say. Yeah, he's been on more episodes than anybody Take else. That, Jeff uh, other than French. the three of us, of course. Jeff, Jeffrey French, as you said. Jeffrey French, yeah, I know. Uh, Nick Blake. Who are you? Uh, a strange man? Nick Blake. You? You're Nick Blake? Oh, uh, Nick's written <laughs> yeah. show for Joe. Sorry. What are your views on politics? What? What? <laughs> All right. Okay, so Joe' last name is Joe is joining us again this evening, guys. You're also Joeing us tonight. I know. I, I got to stop doing that. Yeah, <laughs> Joe, stop Joeing everyone. Stop Joeing everybody. Don't yourself. This is quite yeah. the fearsome force that we have here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so just uh, give it a few drinks. Yeah. What is this We're show w- all about again? I'm what sorry. We, what do we do on the well, show? We uh, talk about that. nerdy culture what as much as it. <laughs> potent beverage. <laughs> and and drink po- potent beverages. Uh, yes. What what kind of mu- like glass is this? Cause Listen, it's, like, it's, it's it's a, a mason jar. jar. It's like a one liter. Yeah, it's a mason it's jar. Yeah, it was like they ha- we have a whole bunch of them out in the storage room there. So I was just like, I grabbed I, I grabbed a couple and you, said, you "Why don't we drink it again?" I potent it is. I think. What you want one? Don't you? What are you talking? I've, you uh, want a drink? You want a drink? Go. Did you need a mason jar, Michael? No, yeah. I'm. Uh, yeah, it's high school. Like, contained as is. Okay. I'm good here. So, okay. That is an intense smell. So, <laughs> the burp was just pure alcohol. <laughs> well, you know, give it a bit. It a man with blood the would uh, pure, pure alcohol. alcohol burps. I have something here for you. Thank but you. why do I have something for you? Why do I shot web? Yeah, something happened this week that I was wrong about. Which uh, never happened, so it's a momentous occasion. Oh, Twin Peaks? Yeah. Oh, and I said it was, um, it, you said it was Shirley. And yes. I said, it's not Shirley. I bet you something that, what did we even bet? I, even I was take... very convinced that one of the characters on Twin Peaks, his name was Shirley. I said, it's not Shelley, because Shelley is the young lady from Shelley's... the diner. The old lady from the diner was Shirley, was my thought. And uh, I, was, I was sort of screaming at him, half screaming, saying, it's not Shirley, but it, I don't remember off the top of my head, but it isn't Shirley. It's Norma. Norma Jennings. So I was wrong, and you said that I owe you something. I didn't think you'd do. You'd seriously, you know, follow through. So I have a wrapped gift brought. Oh. Noise. You never guess where I got put it. My, my <laughs> booze between my legs and, and open this. This very blood generous. coming out of the bag. Yeah, hmm? there's blood coming out. That's the best part. Oh, <laughs> naughty Billy! It's a still beating oh, heart. What? It's, it's a naughty Bowie. <laughs> David a, Bowie. David Bowie. That <laughs> oh, my baboon hurts. <laughs> um, I watched Labyrinth like four control times today. To so Tom. Mike has gifted me a very generously uh, Spin Drift Brewing Company Naughty Bowie Pilsner. Naughty Boy. Naughty Boy. boy. Oh, naughty, very naughty naughty And naughty, naughty is boy spelled too? K-N, right? Do you yeah. There's a picture yeah, of one of those like Newfoundland not... doohickeys for making gotcha. uh, fish gotcha. nets or whatever that is. The thing you tie up. So, yeah. Do you want it? I, Do I, you I want to drink it? it? To you. Would you like... The you... stipulation is you need to give a full comprehensive review in 10 seconds. Of what? The oh, beer. The beer? You, drink it. you have to drink it within 10 seconds. You need to give a full review of the... Oh, and then back. crush the can against your forehead. And then you have to eat it. What kind of beer is your favorite, or do you have a favorite? Is it good? It's a beer. Oh, okay. You're not wrong. We have a winner. Yeah, yeah. I can say, yeah. like, I've been buying a lot of sort of different kinds of beer at the liquor store, and I've really taken a liking to IPAs. I find them very hoppy. I, I hate would. hoppy beers. I knew hoppy you would. I is a good beer. Like I said, licking the back of a frog, that's all What's it is. What's his name? Kermit. I don't know the guy's friend. 
<laughs> oh, but Spur. Spur. I um, I've kind of just sort of acquired a taste for IPAs, right? Yeah, I like hoppy beers. Like India. Yeah. I'm not a big fan. What a hipster and... St. John's beer that yeah, is. it is. What? India beer. India beer? That was all the rage in my generation. Every house party was just India I almost got beer. punched in the face for not drinking an India beer by Mine. a very notable local gentleman who I won't name. Cause Are you serious? Yeah. Somebody got mad because you were drinking a different type of beer. I'm yeah, going... he's a big baby. I bet you could name who it is. Yep. Me. No. He goes by some different kind of moniker, and he's a... What you would call a total tool. Well, I mean, a, a what, total what, tool? What, what's his name? We'll just tool. quack it out. <laughs> well, is well it, yeah, I think he prefers to be called. Quack. Oh. Really? <laughs> God. He wants to steal things from a. Quack. The name is. Quack. Oh, there was a. Oh, God. I don't, I, know why, I don't know why that is his name, but. There was this. Pit- quack. Of the ambulance. I seen on 4chan, and it was this guy, uh, and he, I think he was a juggler. Or he was a magician, a something, someone that performs at parties. Juggalo and um, ICP. He, he had like his business card, or like a sort of like a photo of him that I guess he would give with his business card or something. And his name was Rob, Rob, um, Rob the Juggler. And I was like, "That's my name. Don't rob me." I'm like parentheses, yeah. and it just made me laugh. <laughs> rob the Juggler, don't rob me. I don't know. It just it's dry and it made me laugh. But uh, yeah. Dry things make me laugh too. Yeah. Um, what, what? Here's a dry joke for you. Sure. Bring it. How do you turn a fox into an elephant? How do you turn a fox into an elephant, Joe? Marry her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I gotta uh, say. So, Matt, you did you bring the the, the grape soda, the soda or raisin? I brought this. That, blue that is yours, Mike. Okay. Speaking of me, Mike, they used to make it with actual cane sugar. It used to be actual good, but now it's actual bad. Mass- That's Stewart's, isn't yeah. it? Yes, it is yeah. now mainstream and uh, mass produced, so they couldn't uh, keep up their natural sugar. Oh, thing. okay. So now it's regular crap. Regular garbage like you're fine sugar. in your crushed grape soda and stuff. Yeah, gotcha. I used to really enjoy the root beer. Yeah. Stewart's root beer it was really good. Enjoy root beer. Yeah. I thought you were going to try mixing your uh, Captain Morgan private stock with the. With you don't want to ruin that delicious uh, grape soda with that sh- bad thing. I'm not going <laughs> to <laughs> with that stuff. I actually quite like stuff. Uh, stuff. Cap- yeah, I like all stuff. The doctor said I wouldn't have any nosebleeds if I get my finger out of there. <laughs> Meanwhile, in another podcast, yeah. this conversation was happening. <laughs> but, um, On the Shipshin podcast. Shipshin Shipshin. Who was that? I don't know. <laughs> you really need to do some more um, some more impressions on here, I think. Yours are, your impressions are, are like... God, ah. video uh, yeah, thank learn. you. Thank you. What's impression of? I don't know. But he I just does some, these random... Just th- randomly, I'll just pull it out. So I remember you've done... Okay, <laughs> I'm not talking done. about... I told my, you to not do that. And my got D- a couple of fines against that, but you couldn't help it. Okay, do you, do you, do you guys know who... Uh, there's a guy on... YouTube name by the name of Dashy. Have you heard of him? He does a lot of let's uh, like uh, Super Rainbow Mario. Dashy. He wears God. he wears a, a toque. He calls he calls everybody yeah boy. He kind of yells and and what? screams. I at think the, I'm going to no use that what you just said at some point as the quack for this episode. What's what? that? Yeah boy. Yeah, boy. <laughs> What's up? It's Dashy. God, he sounds, sounds like a really great guy. Good. I'd like to. Uh, if, if you me. if you had actually seen if you see this guy it's yeah. just like welcome back to soup Super Mario Maker. It sounds like he's like Gilbert brain Godfrey. damage. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's the other guy who okay. eats. What is it? He eats like a, all kinds of um, hot sauce or something. He eats just a load of hot sauce and it's just like or something like and that. And then he and trips he, it. And he throws up or something. He drinks a whole lot of something. <laughs> what do you watch on YouTube? What? We, uh, do you remember um, old Cecil Butler? Yeah. Cecil, the brothers Butler, Cecil and Johnny. Okay, Cecil and Johnny Butler, yeah. <laughs> um, Are they I don't back? have to crack their names because that's a made-up name for two actual people. So and, why do you um, got to crack? You don't have to crack it. Yeah, there, as I said, I don't it's have to crack it. already pre-quacked. And um, he showed me a video of this guy. It's the same guy I'm trying to talk about. But he's like drinking like ketchup and hot sauce. And he's just got like, and I'm like, what the hell? Why is he doing this? Why is Cecil Butler showing you that? Let's like, see, it wasn't Cecil, it was Johnny. 
So it wasn't even then. It was well, it, Johnny. Johnny had more brain cells. A Ryan, not B Ryan. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's right. Johnny, tell him to get back to work. <laughs> so she used to come over and lie down on our pick tables. Yeah, and go to sleep. What? Yeah, I wanted to like remember. Well, I don't want to talk about this man, man, baby, because it makes yeah. me angry. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. So uh, Just I went to go try and get a copy of uh, Breath of the Wild for my Wii U. Yeah. You're not gonna get it. Sold out around. I have yeah. just kind of given up on things. I'm, I'm gonna get a copy. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to get I'll a get copy. One. That's a world sure. but, but I've been I've been playing a lot of things lately because I've been traveling a lot, so I've had a lot of time to 3ds. Things. Yeah, I started Darksiders, and I've played a little bit. It's pretty fun. It is the, the yeah. The, the, it's pretty. Yeah. Darn I love good. I love uh, I love well. The art style is all done by Joe Madura. Yeah. Madeira. Hmm. If uh, anybody who reads comic books would know of Joe, he did the Age of Apocalypse X Men side, and yeah. he did some Dirty Pair. He did he did a lot of different uh, stories, but he went on as the uh, the art uh, director for those odd. two games. So, because like, that's my like, big takeaway from it is that it has a really strong art design to it like it and looks and hit, like wow. the guys who did the modeling are mm-hmm. ridiculous because they can take look, a like joe mad picture and physically make it in 3d and not just make it 3d but make it move like it should like, like it's fighting or it's doing yeah whatever it's doing. really well animated yeah. really I heard how much you like male models design. what's that <laughs> i heard how much you like male models shh I mean, Don't be telling everybody. He's a very. They wouldn't hire him if Billy they weren't, Harrington. you know, great. Who? Yeah. Billy Harrington. Who's that? Kid Harrington's motherfucking he, brother. You just gotta look him up. I don't know. He's coming on next week. Uh, I think. Um, is it me or does Mike have to be turned up a little bit? It could Do just need... be me. <clears throat> I could just move closer to the mic. Well, it's up to you. Yeah, okay. uh, Mike says high as he can go. Uh, I'm really high. high. <laughs> what? His beer's not really great. No. Okay. I'm not, it's actually really good. <laughs> <laughs> this beer's not very good, but it's good. By that I mean it's uh, great. You should have it. It kind of tastes like an old buoy. I can't say like I've ever boy. tasted one. I think I might have put a bit too much have you, have vodka you into my uh, concoction. Okay. I have not. I just went to the liquor store today and just picked up a random thing. Um, the selection at the liquor store, I must say, has really gone downhill. It has. It, there's not much there anymore like they've been stocking a few of the same things that's the only different one i've seen which is why i picked it up. they need to bring in 40s they I need agree. to bring in more starcraft starcraft. starcraft starcraft they need to bring in more starcraft i've been tokens. playing too much starcraft lately. my brain is just starcraft. they need two things they need Star and lambs they need yeah. the ten dollar <laughs> wow cards 15 what? 15 dollar wow cards There's yeah still? that's right it's ten dollars for the americans right Ooh. is it 15 dollars a month for I canadians i don't know Okay, they need fifteen dollar <laughs> wow cards, and they need StarCraft tokens at the liquor store. There are no StarCraft tokens. Are there? I know. Uh, I just need some minerals and some Vespian gas. And, and they need, like, they need some really things. bad designed uh, Warhammer characters. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's literally cringing. I, He's like, war, I'm some Warcraft. <laughs> Warhammer. Rip off. <laughs> Warhammer existed before any of that stop up. That's what I'm saying. Warhammer, Warhammer was created but when the Earth now? universe. God, God, God took five days, created Earth, and then on the sixth day, he created Warhammer. Uh, but, okay, so since we were talking about booze, yes, uh, and Warhammer, I'm, I'm, in a sense, I suppose. Uh, I was well before we got on the Starcraft. Before my mouth, yeah, boy. Up. Um, see, look, the liquor's kicking in. I'm swearing. I, um, you know what? I'm like my my face is right, <laughs> my cheeks are yes, good, good warm, good. and I'm getting silly. <laughs> so that's so good. This is crazy. So you could, you could be Vodka. this episode could be very full. Vodka of, hits me like a bus. But you're not drinking burr, burr. vodka. You're no, no, drinking. I'm just saying because it's hitting you. It's, but yeah. I'm drinking some uh, Captain Morgan Private Stock with some A and W root beer. It's really vanilla. Really good. It's really smooth. Would you say it's, it's really vanilla? Vanilla? Like really vanilla? vanilla? You know who's a big fan of Millie Vanilli? Aaron. 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 Aaron's a huge fan. I think we talked about this. I probably, I don't know. I think Aaron, we have. Aaron, you're out there, you've got a great taste of music. Aaron, 
was heartbroken when he found out that those two dudes weren't actually Millie and Vanilli. They're both dead, too, of well, shame. Not then, not at that time. Because uh, he moved up here from Bishop's Falls and immediately worked at the K bar. And he worked at the K bar. What did for he years. do? He was like a guy who comes in and picks up glasses and stuff. Oh, glasses okay. Bottle boy. I was going to say, he wasn't a bouncer. Must have been a very dangerous job for a man of that stature. Well, he could get in between and get like. The he worms way between I've, people. I've done he could just job, walk actually. underneath everybody's legs. Yeah, He's not a hobbit. Come I've on. done that job, and I've done that on like <laughs> Halloween, and it is not a fun job to be at at all. I wouldn't like, so imagine if you're a smaller guy, you could probably get in mm. there and stuff. But like, so many, we the job so is to be not noticed. Exactly. But when I'm like elbowing people, and we're like, you know, with that bottle boy, and I'll wow. take it and put it in my box, and then they're like, no man won't do that. And they, it's like, how many words was that? Is that a quote? That was a couple. Of, that was one of the times I almost got punched out of the K bar. I was working there, so it's fine. I never got into a scuff at the K bar, but I've prevented many with one with one people that I think we all know. Yes, we all know him. You, we what? all know him. Why do I exist? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you worked with him. I mean, we were talking about him. Don't want to say his name. Well, I'll say his name. Yeah, boy. Oh, okay. <laughs> You went through, okay. through so many okay. hoops to not say yeah. it. Just yeah, say. well, because I'll quack it. Was, it was for a very short period of time. It was about a month. Yeah, yeah but and, I, uh, I, I know what you're getting at. Because he'd randomly want to go to the K-Bar more than anything, and as soon as he go there, he'd want to leave. So I'm like, well, we're here. Might as well have a drink and, you know, see who's here. I spent the $5 cover charge. Might as well. And uh, we'd be wandering around, and he'd, like, sort of get sooky and sit in the booth and uh, not want to get up or talk to anyone. Those booths are filthy. And, oh. yeah. I've seen some dirty... Yeah, boy! Go yeah. on those boots. Yeah, me too, cool. man. I saw one guy puked in his drink. What an asshole. Puked in his Tom Collins. That, that's <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy! <laughs> Idiot would do that. I wish he was here right now. <laughs> Subhuman trash. <laughs> he should have had one of them little triangle cups like Garth had. He's, he's gonna go, man? spew, man. Go he's gonna spew in it is. If he had any oh, kind of leadership bro. in this country, if he's gonna spew. He'd out and shot in the head. <laughs> Disgrace to humanity. Trudeau government will never let it happen. Damn hippie liberals. How do we keep getting back to point. politics? When did we When did we before? I don't know. <laughs> this all over again? When did we do it? I don't know. Uh, but, um... <laughs> Yeah. You had a story or something? Did I, we, I got lots of did stories. Did we have a point to this podcast? <laughs> Man, there's, there's never really a point. There's, we're yeah. Eventually, I think we're going to try to call Nick Blake. Or can we not call Nick Blake? Uh, we can't not, we <laughs> can't not always, call Nick Blake. I always do it old school style and just hold the uh, speakerphone on mic. You no, like, I can hook it up to call Nick Blake. Okay, good, you can always cut away to a, like a, a small commercial break and then uh, figure that out later. We're letting him behind the curtain. It's inside baseball. I've I've played that jingle. Dun, if you want to dun, have dun, dun. a little semblance of structure, yeah. Earlier, you have something, Mike. Please say you I have, have something. I have many of things. Okay. One of the things was a question of the week I put out to oh, pretty yeah. much everybody. Okay. On all of the fa- social, we got a lot of answers. It's pretty pretty nice. Yeah. I, it seems like uh, ever since the the website popped off. It's it's picking up a little bit. Am, am I am I wrong in thinking that? It's been jumping up. We're almost at. I was looking at the analytics to web website today, and we're almost at a thousand views, like page Ooh. clicks. Really? Like that. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, yeah, we're still to like a lot of people, and they're like, "Where do I subscribe? Where do I?" I'm still ninety seven likes on Facebook. Facebook we're likes are tangible. And yeah, but they're the that's, biggest. That's the thing. They're the biggest medium. Right, we're it's, on the, it's the easiest way to. Well, people are still clicking on our links, is what I've seen. People are clicking yeah. on things, they're not liking the page because you know, whatever. Sons of bitches. But anyway, I like yeah. Anyway, but uh, yeah. So before I read all these lovely people's answers, I thought I would uh, go around the room and ask you fellas your answers because I've preloaded my answer. I've thought about it a lot. <laughs> I'll ask you the question. Did <laughs> <laughs> I get that out? Okay. So, question of the week. Now that Hugh Jackman has finished portraying the Wolverine, what actor do you think could fill these shoes? I think we should go counterclockwise because I want to answer first. Well, if answer. you're ready to answer, give her. Um, what's his name? Clint Eastwood's son. Sam. Not, is it Sam? I don't think it's Sam. It's someone with an S. But Dirty I know Harry. him. Dirty yeah. Harry's son, he was in Suicide Squad. Yeah. That's Suicide his name, Squad. isn't it? Dirty Harry? 
<laughs> he did he play in Suicide Squad? He was, uh, he was just a random, he random was one soldiers. one of the, like, Marines. He was... Yeah. Uh, he wasn't had, like, didn't have a super big role, but he was... Scott Eastwood? Like, Scott Eastwood. Scott Eastwood. Scott Eastwood. I knew it was okay. yeah. But yeah, he would be... Uh, Samsonite. Pretty, he's got that look. He's got, the, like, the... He's got the jaw. He looks exactly like Clint Eastwood. He does, Oh, well, yeah. it's his son. Which, if you could go back in time, Clint, young Clint Eastwood would be a good Wolverine, so mm. that's a pretty good answer. Yeah. I doubt he would take that role, though. I personally think that if they recast, bring in a new guy. Bring in somebody that they, we don't know again. So Just like they did with you. born yet. 20 years in the future. That's right. Someone. Which is probably the... Well, point. I found that when they brought in Hugh Jackman for the first X-Men movie, he was, well, that was pretty his, young. That was his big role. Like He was a small stage actor and like commercial dude in yeah. Australia, but no one ever heard of him. That was his big breakout role. So he, I guess you need to get young blood. Yeah, but uh, I, I find that he was too young blood. Mm. Like he was too. Well, he has, looked too young. Yeah, that sounds like a good rap duo. Too young blood. Too young blood. He certainly had enough time to age into the role. Oh yes, seventeen and, and, years. And I mean, he he looks the part now. Like yeah. for for, and they have said that uh, the new movie is following Old, Old Man, Man Logan. Logan. It is following. A lot him, of people. So. I got it spoiled for me accidentally on Facebook, and I was savage. Oh no savage. way! And then obviously I commented. I was like. Yeah, boy. You. Yeah, boy. Good. Spoiling this for me. For me. For me. See it. <laughs> and then people. Why did like, you make me click on this link? And then people are like, "We well, go on the internet. What do you expect?" And I said, "Old thing. I mean, you're talking about how it's my fault if something is spoiled for me." Yep. How on is the that? Internet. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 <laughs> no. No, that's not right. How? No, it's not. So I, it's I not agree. my fault that guy's an asshole. If no. he, they should, if you're going to put a spoiler thing on the internet, you should always put spoil alert. Exactly. Put a spoiler or, alert. Like, you can talk about that, but have it in a separate forum. In the tech corner, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, oh. esteemed guest, have you thought Kevin long? James. All right. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> what? <laughs> All Blart yeah. Night Fans. Yeah. You just, you sent me a link. Paul Blart Night Fans. Was it you, you sent me like a link? Such a, it was like right. Paul Blart Ultimate Fan or something? Paul Blart. Paul well, Paul. I mean, yeah, okay. But if it... Seriously, though, if they bring the Wolverine character back, isn't that just creative bankruptcy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you're right. I yeah. I don't I don't know anything about the new movie, mm. but if, I if can kind of imagine if it's everyone, his last movie. I mean, I'm not going to say it out loud. Everyone is, uh, can just assume what happens at the end. If it's his yeah. last movie, yeah. I can assume what happens. Exactly. So. You're right. If if they do bring him back, but it is. It, they've already, yeah. like, yeah. within, yeah. It, within a while, though. Like, like, if it's, it may be, like. Maybe Five they'll maybe years. they'll re- reboot it, add it to the Marvel universe. Then, you wouldn't think like Professor X or Magneto would be replaceable, but they already replaced him in first class. And he did get a good replacement. Uh, James you McAvoy. Didn't like oh, you didn't like it. Magneto? McAvoy. Don't like McAvoy. Damn. Don't like you. Split looks like a good movie. What? Don't like him. Split. I would watch it. Yeah. Apparently, he goes full retard at the end, though. Oh, I'll never. But go. it's M Night <laughs> Shyamalan, so therefore it's. <laughs> It's it, it inevitably has to go full retard at some point. That you could not imagine how more perfect that dovetails into my answer. For, uh, <laughs> M Night Shyamalan, <laughs> <laughs> it's the new Wolverine. No, uh, hold on, he's a bus. man with adamantium bones. He's covered in. I bone. don't know. I might cut you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, Jesus. So I think Ben Stiller. <laughs> what Ben Stiller? What Ben Stiller? Left field. He but, way too small. Uh, well, no. no. Is it way too Jewish. Here's my hot take on why Ben Stiller would be a great Wolverine. <laughs> why is that? Now, he's more physically close to what the character should be. Hugh Jackman, one, is too tall and handsome to be Wolverine. Yeah. yeah so am I. And now that Ben Stiller is kind of out of work. And short. And like, he is, aged, he is he's a short aged, man. but he's still in like pretty ripping shape. Yeah. And he could, he could pull off like the grizzled... I mean, most of his comedic... Roles, he's just an angry, angry little dude. Like that one, uh, was it? Uh, Which is what Wolverine is. Like if they just beef him up a little bit more, make him pretty grizzled, he grows like the sideburns. I think people would yeah. riot. I think people don't the remember. Headlines. I don't. I don't think people remember well, Ben again, Stiller pe- enough. To do everybody the remember Zoolander is Wolverine? Yep. Exactly. <laughs> but you remember. You remember everybody <laughs> saying. Geely is going to be Batman, so and everybody was like yeah, losing his collective in, one, internet minds name over one serious role that that guy's played. The the what, Ben Stiller, yeah, that one, one serious movie. role that, that Walter Mitty, yeah, guy. Walter Mitty. 
Who's that? But that movie? wasn't that wasn't very serious though. He's a comedic yeah, actor. It was, it was deadly serious. The end of the movie. What? It's like Robin Williams playing a serious. I crap. I know. I and I then, watched the movie. And I, at I the didn't end, find he's it. like, "Oh, I found myself." There's some crap. Well, that's why I think if there's a like a couple years from now, because no one's seen Zoolander two. He's never done anything since like all of Paul or that Walter Mitty fucking movie. I think enough time has passed that people are gonna like. He has something to prove. So yeah. he'll work extra hard to be that See, grizzled if you can old character. Pull the mic towards you more, like over Put it down your throat. because every time when you turn your head a little bit, yeah. you get you get out of you get out of range. Way. Yeah, a little bit better. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, this rum is well, yeah. hitting me. That's why. That's why. I <laughs> think, wow, this I think, rum is hitting me, man. I think Ben Stiller, <laughs> perfect little Wolverine. You look on your methadone or something. <laughs> this isn't that. That's my secret cap. Yeah. I am. I'm always drunk. Martha is the name of your mother too. Martha. <laughs> Martha, why are you how, it, how 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 did they re- that was they, probably the worst motivation in any movie I've ever seen in my life. How what? how come the DC person? writers couldn't call two mothers two different names? Tony Stark's name is Martha. They're like, oh, these people never actually mother. meet or something. Who cares? Yeah, but uh, he's Martha. in MCU. Everyone's name is Martha. Everyone's mother's name is Martha. It's the twenties. What? Thomas. That's their names in the comics too. Yeah, Martha Wayne and everybody was Martha, and their father's yeah. name was John. John, John Martha, and Martha, John and Martha. And Martha. <laughs> so we got a nice few answers for uh, Any Kevin James in there. God. There's not, but there are a couple of it's Joe Pesci. Don't spoil Joe Pesci. Things, Matt. Sorry. So this first one, from, I'm going to cut you from Jackson. I'm going to cut you, <laughs> <laughs> Jackson Stewart. I don't know sure, who this man is, but he's a he liked it and the uh, thing. He says Josh Hutcherson. I don't know who that is. Josh Hutcherson. He, he was a guy a, he knows. He was uh, Peter a Peter Bob from guy. Hunger Games. Oh. Pete Peta? Pita? Peta Bread. Stupid. No. Peter Bread. He looks like he's like 30 and everyone else is like 12. He's the youngest. He's younger Sorry. than everybody. No, he looks like 12. Oh, he and looks else like he's was, He was like hey, an eight year old in Zathura. Yeah. <laughs> Ridley Scott from Wolverine. Yeah. What's, what's his name, guy's name again? Josh, Josh Hutcherson. Josh, okay. Not Hutchinson. Hutcherson. Hutcherson. Yeah, this. So while you're looking that up, I don't. You're, know, I don't know. I don't know. Um, he seems too. He's too soft of a boy. Yeah, too, he looks like he's Beverly Hills nine hundred two one zero. Yeah, he yeah. never not, did a never did a hard day. He doesn't labor look like he could tie life. his own shoes, let alone like skin a man to death. Mm-hmm. He looks. He doesn't look, bear. No, doesn't look like sort no. of grizzled enough. Yeah, no, for sure. Give him like ten years and a lot of. Whiskey, yeah. Get him addicted to heroin. Listen, yeah. I think I think the only person that could really do Wolverine right is somebody who actually did do a hard life's work. Kevin is, James. <laughs> Kevin King James could not have been easy. Came brought, that was a hard brought time into doing that show brought into Hollywood because I can't I can't see anybody looking the way that I think Wolverine should look <laughs> is not the way that Danny Trejo. Four hundred pounds. Exactly, like Danny Trejo. Is is a good example. If if Wolverine was Mexican, you know, machetes instead of blade, like no, <laughs> but I mean, he's he's hard looking. He's a hard looking faced, man. Yeah, grizzled. Yeah, Mexican. exactly. So uh, this no, next, uh, the the fact that he's Spanish is is Spanish. his only thing. It's neither here nor there. No, I don't see I colors, man. I just see race. Yeah, I know. Huh. Um, that's not true. <laughs> I'm colorblind. Oh. So the next answer was by your wife, Matt. Yeah. She said Sam Claflin. I don't, I, I who don't know. I didn't know, but when I looked him up, I was like, oh, another Hunger Games man. And who is that? He's He shows up in the second movie. He's like one of the other uh, volunteers or whatever. He's the tall, oh, that guy. tall, handsome Brug. I think he's playing some like Victorian. He was in some movie I've seen recently, too. Okay. I could kind of Pretty see. boy, though. Yeah, was it, was yeah. it movie Me Against You? No. Oh. I've seen, That's he's in, in something it. else, too. But like, he's another like. He's too tall and built too, and handsome yeah. to be this thing. Like he's I, way too tall. He's yeah. just like yeah. I don't imagine that the next Wolverine should just be another <laughs> Hugh Jackman. Like it should be a, another adaptation of the character, not just that's right. Kevin James. Or, let's we, <laughs> let's just find somebody who can. Yeah, because then you're just replacing Hugh Jackman, not replacing Wolverine. No, see, and the fact of the matter is that, like, with Mark uh, played played. Uh, Hulk, uh, Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo, Lou Ferrigno. He, <laughs> he's a good act. He's a great actor. Mm-hmm. He's a great actor. Is he? And is he? He's than a Ed normal Norton? looking dude. 
Like he's a normal looking fella. Like that scene he's in like Age a feller of Ultron he... when he's like out of the shower and Black Widow's looking him up and down. He's just like this little pasty, hairy chested scientist boy. He just looks he's normal. No, he's not uh, Chris Hemsworth or anything. But like... No, exactly. And that's what they need to really try and... Holy sweet honorable. Man. Whoa. Loving it. <laughs> Wondering why. Holy mother... Best episode ever. He just filled the bottom of a large mason jar about an inch deep with Captain Morgan. And, yeah, that's going straight through his bloodstream. You're right. telling oh, me you feel fingers. something an inch deep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> yeah, boy! Oh, man. That's what you get. Drink it. Drink it, baby. Do we, um, uh, you know, in no. Australia, they have a tradition that the dirtier the table... Uh, you I'll have, have to, to go get if it. If you're at a bar or something and, and a drink spills on the table, you have to slurp it up or you're a pussy. I and like the, the Australians more and more. The dirty, the dirtier the table, the more manly you are. Exactly. It makes I, sense. I think I will abstain from this uh, certain tradition. We are in the underworld. Yeah. Lord, <laughs> the down under this. I take oh, up my cane. So does. once once Mark it's returns, I'll read the dead. last few of these answers. One of them is a real hot take, and I know Matt is super passionate about it, so we'll uh, debate that. What? Pretty, uh... What? <laughs> 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 uh, you have to cut this. <laughs> <laughs> it's just mic sounding. Just... <laughs> I mean, is there like a slop sink back here? <laughs> is there a what? That's where you're sleeping tonight. With a laundry sink. This, this keyboard cat right here. What? Play him off, keyboard what? cat. Yeah. So Matt's got to run upstairs for a moment. All right. Wash his hands, so we'll continue. Right. Well, you don't like being left in. Uh, going on a grand adventure. He's read all these. He's <laughs> he had a big flame war with uh, Jeff Finch on here. Why? Who did Finch want? Finch. Uh, I should play Wolverine. <laughs> he says uh, Kit Harrington. Jeff Finch says, Kid oh, really? Should play mm, nope. Again, nope. Too pretty same, boy. Same, yeah, same reason as this Josh Hutcherson. He's too young and fragile looking. Do you notice? Do you notice a, a, a trend? A trend with who people Male actors think? Are pretty shitty. boys. Yeah. Pretty. Pretty. We don't guys. have any. There's no Ron Perlman of this generation. No, that's right. There's no right. craggly face like mountain men that need to be in movies. Oh damn. <laughs> <laughs> what is this rum? <laughs> what has this rum done to you? It's rum. What did you pee in the porch? The rum is good getting to you. I didn't pee. Do you have your sea legs? I washed my today? hands. Oh, in my pee. <laughs> I stepped outside. Well, yeah. pee is uh, antibacterial. <laughs> oh. We need to like call it SOS. This is Mayday. <laughs> Going down to ship. Yeah, it's gonna be a discovery. So, I mean, what episode is this? Minus one, twenty-eight. Minus two. <laughs> yeah. See, like, uh, I feel like Steve Urkel or something is knocking everything over. And did I do that? Nick Blake, Steve, Steve Blake. Urkel. God, Steve Blake. <sighs> the, so, uh, yeah. So, so Kit Harrington. Yeah, Jeffrey it. Finch says Kit Harrington. <sighs> and you got into He's obviously... These are people that haven't read the comics, I take it. I don't know, but they, they know what Wolverine should be. Well, probably not. Well, no. Kit Harrington is... Like, he's too boyish looking. That's not yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Wolverine... Like, Hugh Jackman was even, like, pushing boundaries. Like, he kind of became that character, and he kind of became grizzled and different. But he was still, yeah. like, a handsome UK <sighs> underwear model. Yeah, and he became right. the Wolverine, which is like not the character. The character is supposed to be this like short, hairy, grizzled, angry little thing. That's He's right. uh, actually five foot one. Yeah, very, technically. Yeah, that's pretty short. That's Barb. What? <laughs> Barb's five foot or five foot one. Yeah, it's pretty short. That's really short. Yeah, the time was pretty short. <sighs> that's that's like, Lissy. Lissy's five over, foot one. That's over a foot shorter than me. What? Lissy's five foot one or five foot two or something? Okay, I, don't know. I, I never noticed you that she was that short. Height? Gosh. Oh, sorry. Jeez. Don't know her exact weight either. I wouldn't want to know. It's not inscribed on your wedding ring. <laughs> a <laughs> date <Mike> is. <laughs> Don't want to forget that. You have a date? I thought you were married. A date, yes. Well, when we were married. <laughs> what is that? Oh! 
<laughs> but uh, yeah, Kid Harrington is too boyish. I think Agreed. he's too yeah. not manly. He's doesn't have the jawline. He's too yeah. He's too and, like he's just being a corner sulking when the actual Wolverine would be like oh, okay, well, up in someone's face ripping it apart. <laughs> Okay. You exact same mutants. Thing. You said exact same thing last time because you know when in um, there's a point where uh, John Snow, Don Snow, is <laughs> hanging around with Egret and the Wildlings. Yeah. When it's just sort of discovered that he's actually working for the crows, the uh, the yeah Night's Watch, and then Egret's like, ooh, starting to get angry and crying, and he's like, you knew what I was. I've got to go out. <laughs> <laughs> and she shoots him like with an arrow or two three yeah. arrows and then he's like riding off full of arrows and she's like ooh crying he's like go, go on <laughs> but yeah, yeah. every what time what was he, that about I don't know I just kind of just started talking shit. yeah he's just rambling, like, that's rambling okay. on that's okay a couple more actually, only you're right. up to see with the captain okay. here that's okay any, any questions Mike because oh no you, you yeah was, um, yeah you had more questions or just that please, one please please one say question. you do because it was a question of the week. I didn't oh, okay. bother asking any other questions. <sighs> you don't know but the other answers answer. are all jokes. There's Jack Black, Joe Pesci, and Doc Rock says Danny DeVito. Oh, Which, I mean, he's Jack short, Black. very angry. Jack, Jack Black's yeah. short, ang- like, they get the antitheses, but it's still... No, I, I, I really do think that Jack Black had a breakout somewhere. serious role in Bernie. And uh, I know Bernie. we did last summer, too. <laughs> Whatever it <laughs> was called. Yeah. Bruce Bums. He was the... Yeah, and Never Ending Story <laughs> Part Three. He was the bully, so he could play a badass. Boom! I couldn't. No. Just watch Bernie. He's a badass in that movie. That's a pretty good. He's got a mustache. Nice. He's effeminate, and he shoots an yeah. old woman. So that was the answer to our question of the week. Maybe I'll ask another one next week. Mm. Get uh, I think Scott answers. Eastwood. Scott Eastwood would be a good Wolverine, although he's kind of tall. Here's the jawline, the ruggedness. I think we should go the opposite direction of tall and handsome. We go hell story. opposite, man. So Danny DeVito or Jack Black. Kevin or James. Hey, Stewart. asshole! I'm Wolverine! <laughs> They're like, yeah, just Joe Pesci. Like, yeah. Hey, what are do, you going to do? Do I make you laugh? Am I, am I funny? I mean, they could... Just I'm going to cut your face off. Just imagine Joe Pesci from Goodfellas, but like going berserk with knives in one of his hands. Like, that's pretty fearsome. Well, my joke, my joke, like, do I make you laugh? Am I a jester? <laughs> make you laugh shit. like how? And then you say serious. I find he could play Martin in a movie. He could play the sort of Martin, movies. somebody Martin works Guy with we you. Work with. Yeah. Although, um, sort of Joe Pesci era of Home Alone, Home Alone 2. <laughs> his hair, his head just being <laughs> Very burnt. specific era. Yeah. Did we ever Mem- ask the question, era of Joe who Pesci. do you think you should be played by in the movie? Uh, Kevin James. <laughs> Kevin James could <laughs> play Joe. Comes the boom. Yeah, yeah. James Corden could play me. Who's that? Oh, see that British talk show host yes. that like, always sings in cars? Yep. Yep. Actually, I was watching James Corden tonight. James Corden, apparently yeah. Lissy thinks, because me and Lissy talked about that, who would play who in a movie. Okay. And Lissy's like, James Corden would play you. And I'm like, really? God. And who would play Lissy? Natalie Portman. <laughs> my my wife who played my wife. Mm, okay. Mm, what? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. Who would play Mark? Who would uh, play Merrick? Oh Billy my Crystal. god. Oh my god. Yeah, no, not Billy Crystal. He's not <laughs> tall or hair dewy enough. Hair dewy enough? <laughs> What's that I was going to tell Blaze because Blaze comes uh, over. What's that no, guy? Uh, hold on. Blaze? Um, or Michael, a young Michael Keaton. <laughs> the guy from uh, yeah. uh, the, the Javier Bardem movie. The, the no what? Country for Old Men. The other guy. Josh Brolin? What? Harrelson, the guy, that guy. Woody Harrelson? Woody Harrelson. Oh. Woody Harrelson's too sort of potato headed for Mark. And, and Mark's sort of like a plum headed. A plum. <laughs> so, so oh, there's plum headed. There's plum. almond like face plant. shit. I don't know. Yeah. Well, this, this is very specific because you have a very sort of a very spherical head. Okay. You just shave your head spherical. and cut off your ears. You have it's a head like an orange. <laughs> Maybe like Alan West. <laughs> Who am I trying to think of? I'm trying to think of. He's from old school. Will Ferrell. No. Luke Wilson. No. John Belushi. Old Blue. No, no. I know who he's talking. Vince Vaughn. Yes, Vince Vaughn could play you. God. He sort of has your hairline. Yeah, I guess. What yeah. is? Has your has kind of some of your facial features. I don't think you should get a job as a casting. Director. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> okay, off of me. Hire someone on as the a mic. Haircut. Okay, Mike. On the mic. Um, I'm on the mic. Uh, the guy okay. who he was an avatar. Sam. Uh, no. Nope. Sigourney Weaver. Oh, no. Nope. Sigourney Weaver can play you, Mike. No. Nope. Zoe um, Zeldana. No. Nope. She is so hot. No. Nope. Thanks. 
Uh, 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 nope, I got it. He's from Ottawa. Justin Tom Trudeau. Green. What? Tom Justin Green? Trudeau. No. Justin Trudeau. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, Harold from Red Green Show. No, he, Driver. <laughs> driver. Driver movie. Driver? Oh, no. Nah. He's too good looking. No, no, no. Say it. What's his name? Oh, uh, Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling. No. He's too good looking. <laughs> he was in Goosebumps. I'm sorry. He's Let like, him he's... work. He, Ryan Gosling. You never see Ryan Gosling with facial hair. Let him, let him, let I him, know. let him, let him bring out his hair. Let, let him, yeah. Let I the, think he let would the play. Hair and makeup and costume department. And, he, and he's got the build. Me. He's got the build. I'm telling you. Yeah. I haven't Mike seen right him. there. I haven't Done. seen him really. I'm right here. <laughs> he's, yeah, look, look. Wasn't he's Ryan right there. Gosling in the Notebook? Yeah. Yeah. No, look at Mike. No, <laughs> look at Mike. No, he could be in the Notebook. No, no, no. You complete me. I could like build a house. I think. I don't know how what he says. Creeper for two years and yeah, build a house. Man, you got this. Oh, God. Okay. So I'm James Corden. You're Jins Vaughn. You're... Jins Vaughn? Jins. Jins. James. Uh, Vaughn. Jins Vaughn. You're, uh, you're Paul Blart. You're Paul Blart. Why am I Paul Blart? You said you were Paul you Blart. You said you were no, Paul Blart. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. You can't self-roast. Um, was in Step Brothers with Fuel Farrell. No, no, no. He's too old. Uh, how about... John uh, C. Uh, Riley? Uh, 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 <laughs> John C. Riley plays John, Joe. <laughs> John C. Riley. I respect John C. Riley. Yeah, he's, yeah, good. he's a good, good actor. That good was it. Uh, Perfect hard. Storm. God, that movie's amazing. He was. A, he started as a dramatic actor and then went to comedy. And so then, like, he, uh, yeah, he was a dramatic sometimes. I know, and that's what I. That's what I found weird was because Gangs of New York. He was dramatic. He's in that new. Uh, I've seen a King couple Kong of things. Movie. Is it? Colin. Colin. I thought that was going to be a King Kong versus Godzilla. Yeah, there, am I not? Am next, I not remembering the next one? They're like building an Avengers Marvel Universe. Yeah, uh, Tom uh, Godzilla uh, Cinematic Universe. Yeah, <laughs> they got Rick Mothra and uh, Ghidorah. <laughs> and Ghidran and Ghidran. Gonna have Godzilla X. Mecha Godzilla. Mecha Godzilla. God, why? Because all those movies kick all the ass. Maybe, you, you it makes you think of the commercial for the, with that Japanese guy that was in Inception. And he's like, "Red them a fight." When they're like fighting, I don't Are you know having an acid flashback, or is this a real commercial? <laughs> it's a commercial. You think they're gonna bring back all the obscure monsters, like the smog monster and I hope so. Biolanti, Biolantis. <laughs> well, that, that freaking. As long as it's not uh, the little King baby Caesar, not the baby Godzilla, please. No. <laughs> you guys seem to know your Godzilla, Godzilla lore. Fight, pretty well. a lot of Godzilla. You know. It's mostly because of uh, the angry video game nerd. Yeah. Okay. He did a Monster Madness where he reviewed every single Godzilla movie. What's like, one where he did like a drop over. kick and he was like flying through the air? That it was on a space planet, of course. Planet in space. I think it was that one. Yeah, because he's fighting uh, that's the. That's it was the one, one where the kids get kidnapped by this UFO and they go on a UFO trip. And then Godzilla <laughs> like a road trip. To that. It was on Mystery Science Theater. Yeah, I think they reused that tail clip sometimes. Maybe. There's Maybe. a lot of stock footage in those movies. I, uh, I thought of, I think of the American name for it was Godzilla vs. Monster X. I don't know what the... Like, X and the Y, Joe. They have a bad Joe. habit of changing the titles when they bring them over. Or they mm-hmm. used to. Um, Gojira. <sighs> Gojira. I the first movie is pretty the, classic, the, the ultimate name change. Yeah. What was the name? The one with Matthew Broderick was oh, terrible. Was Godzilla? Yeah. 2000? Yeah. Puff I think Daddy. that's what it was called, wasn't it? Godzilla 2000? Just, just Godzilla. There, was, there was a Godzilla 2000, but that was proper Godzilla. Yeah. Okay. That was like as a response to like that. And the it, Toho. The actual back. Toho stuff. Yeah, right oh, okay. So there was Godzilla 85, which was pretty awesome. That's like when they rebooted it. I, like, I started watching time. the Brian Cranston one. That wasn't too, too bad. It, it made a little bit of sense at the beginning, but it just didn't hold me. It was a bit it too long, but when you think about it, what is a Godzilla movie other than a bunch of scientists talking about things and then eventually a monster fight? Yeah, yeah. So it's pretty true in that aspect. You see that, Joe? Yeah, well, CG is worse than rubber suits, though. It takes away some of that charm. Yeah, that's like the best part of seeing like two people in rubber suits like bashing around at each other. Apparently, like... A bunch of actors in the back in the day when they were filming the original ones like died of heat, of heat, ex- heat exhaustion. It was or pretty something. rough wearing those costumes. And I would imagine so. You see in some of the movies, where and back then the costume was so ragged. Yeah, it's like because of the pyrotechnics and stuff going off at the same time too. There's like explosions happening, and people. Like, you can see yeah. the suit gets kind of worn. The Godzilla sound is so iconic, though. Do you know what that sound is? Yes, I do. Because you told me. 
What is that? I don't remember. <laughs> <Cello. laughs> they took, they put like a glove on or something, and they rubbed like the yeah, strings of the cello. Yeah, they put like a leather or like a yeah leather welder's glove on. Yeah, I think it was, and like rubbed like the strings of like a cello and like. Oh, and I assume they okay. sort of mixed it somehow. Probably they put like a yeah an echo back. And, and the sound of what was the sound of what? God's what movie was I thinking of? Like, where? <clears throat> Oh, okay. Uh, do you remember? Do you remember? Uh, do you remember the Disney show, uh, the the movie Robin Hood, yes. by Disney? I love that movie. My it, uh, it, my coworker was going around singing. Go, uh, what was happening? Godzilla's attacking. Pew 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 pew! This little gun shooting. Okay, that's just sorry. Okay. Anyway, he was going around. <laughs> Back to the story. All of a sudden, he, he was uh, he was walking across, and all I hear is. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, I break it. One, two, one, two. Anyway, I was thinking about that movie. And, Do you think it and, kickstarted people's love with furries? It might have. It might have, yes, it, because it a there lot of was feelings and yeah, maybe Marion was hot man for a fox. She was, I think a lot of people. She was a foxy fox. I think a lot of uh, young people also the animated Robin the animated Robin the Hood. Disney Robin Hood the with Disney. their foxes. And way back in the day, yeah. way yeah. back in the day. I thought you were starting to sing like the the hamster dance. Song. That's what no, it is, no. but do, 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 do. the hamster dance but is that is that up. tune, is but it? it's originally from Robin Hood. And if you watch Robin Hood again. If you ever have a chance, just to... I just, watched it. We watched it. That's one of like Alyssa's favorite Disney movies. We watched it a lot. A lot of the sound effects that they did for things, yeah. I think were done by human voice. Because like, you hear a lot of the... For the, for the like arrows. The, the arrows. Yeah. It's, that and, movie and is people doing that kind of stuff. Hilarious. The King Lion is the best. It was Dumbo Snake. One of the best ones because... You got that Friar Tuck, that Sheriff, that Sheriff Wolf that is that... He was the guy in Blazing Saddles that... He was like the Sheriff in Blazing Saddles. The guy also plays the Sheriff. Everything Robin. Kang, a guy yeah. named the horse. Hang the oh, jeez, I'm the Sheriff. And there was actual... Whoa. Like, whoa. there was actual actual people in distress. Like, it it felt like the people of Nottingham yeah. were actually in dire straits. Because that family of... It's uh, looked... You know, money for I nothing. I've seen it. You've never seen no, Robin Hood? Yeah, probably not. It's, Get uh, I've seen Sword and Stone. Yeah. I could probably no. sing that whole little, like, intro no. ditty when Robin Hood and the Little John run through the forest. It's crazy. It's, I love how in Star it's, Trek... It's really well done. Worf was Little John. They actually I took... have to bring up Star Trek. Look, they they took a lot of the animation stuff. from from Robin Hood and used it in I a lot of the other Jungle Book and stuff. <laughs> yeah, that was that was during Disney's like we're cheap and we're kind of failing period. Because I've seen like a compilation yeah. on YouTube where there was like reused cell not cell oh, but the, the actual animation, animation they just redrew it with, with new characters. the new characters it was the puppies instead of like the the panther cubs. Yeah, there's like yeah. a part when the because Baloo from Jungle Book is just Little John. Yeah, that's all it is. And that's they're all just, he like, is, doing, yeah. when they're like dancing, they're just all the dances are kind of the same little movements. They just, instead of they instead just of payment, it, paying somebody a lot of money to do they just, like, brand new animation, it over old cells and kind that's of, like, when they had to draw everything. Now everything is the same. Well, that was Disney's. That was Disney's well, I mean, dark time. The sec, the first dark time when they were nearly bankrupt. They were nearly before bankrupt, Little yeah. Mermaid and Beauty the Beast like yeah brought them back to life. Yeah, they were mm-hmm. almost out of business. Wouldn't the first dark time would wouldn't be that Disney's anti semitism? <sighs> That was not, not Nazism. That's neither proven nor disproven. I like really you, thought you were going to say it was fake news. Di- no, Disney's first dark, dark time was only that blankness. <laughs> <laughs> Song of the South. Oh god, that was so, that was that kids was, at the time. That was everyone's name. Yeah, you can't you can't go back. Apparently, no one's accountable for that. It's like when an old person's racist. We're like, you know what? They just lived too long. <laughs> Yeah, they're only you crime. Too long. They're from a just, different time. They just live too long. They're too old. Now. They just seem I mean, too there's much. There's a ton of Looney Tunes that are so badly like <sighs> racist, but like you have just never seen them because they like chose like, ooh, we're not going to air that one. Yeah, there was there. I heard a few episodes of Looney Tunes haven't made it out because of their. There's the full characters of like, um, what was that cow's name? Was it a cow or was it a horse? Your mom. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, 
Oh, yeah. really good. Yeah. <laughs> Can't remember. Uh, His mom's not a cow. <laughs> His mom's actually pretty hot. Yeah. It's a donkey. I agree. I'm part. I'm part donkey. <laughs> what? What part? Yeah. The lower uh, half. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, half ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. Uh, yeah, so uh, we can't can't have no dead air. Yeah, well, I'll who cut knows? it out anyways. Who cares? Yeah, uh, master editor, hey, executive producer, whatever. We should all put those you titles. Got okay, so what do I get? I don't know. What do you want? What do I have? He, he, he's he's executive producer. Your master I'm executive editor. producer. What you have multiple mine? executive producers. They can best grip. Oops. Best boy yeah, grip. Yeah, Joe, best you're boy. the best boy grip. <laughs> I got the best boy grip. Yep, the best boy. <laughs> best boy. Best boy. Some boy Blah. grip. Uh, Mark is... Uh, assistant to... Assistant to the uh, sec, executive producer. Ex- assistant to the chief. <laughs> Hail to Hail, the chief. Hail to the chief, baby. Uh, 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 I, bet, I don't know. It, what's, it can only can be one CEO in a company, right? Yes. Okay, I don't know how it works, really. Okay, so uh, hold on, wait. C, yeah, the CEO is the the head. Okay. Chief but, executive officer. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. And then there's other officers. There's president. We have officers. COO. What's that? CC Chief no. Operation Officer. Officer. Oh. Officer. But um, so yeah, so I'm the executive producer. Who what do you pick? executive produce? The podcast. Man. <laughs> I only no. I, can tell. I put that on Facebook and. Someone messaged me. He's like, "Are you really executive producer?" It's like some random person. And I was like, "Why does he sound like Nick Blake?" Because <laughs> they all head. sound like Nick Blake. Everybody in your head. <laughs> your inner monologue is Nick Blake. Yeah. Every this time you're reading Blake. a book, I just imagine like you know when Barney's like, "Yeah, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna get more beer. Yeah, we're gonna get more beer." <laughs> These the aren't plugged in. The next case, there's only one case left. Quiet down, guys. <laughs> <laughs> there's another case in the garage. Yeah, oh, garage. Ooh. Oh, oh, that <laughs> bloody dog! That Mr. reminds Frenchy. me. A car hole. <laughs> so, <laughs> Mr. P P P come in t- one day, and Peer uh, punch? Oh, pa- okay. Paul. Oh, I'll be all quick. Okay, yeah, you're bad with cold. So he, he uh, okay. Before this, I said I would really like to have Ooh. a garage, <laughs> and your mother started making fun of me. She's like, ooh, la di da. Make her fun of her because she has you know, uh, like well, below well, average intelligence. Well, she she says, ooh, about. a garage. A, a garage. I was like, yeah, what do you call it? She's like, we call it uh, the garage. The garage. Oh, I, I said, thought she was just a the super garage. big like, closet. A car. Fan. <laughs> it's the garage. No, it's the garage. Like, what? 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 I can't say it? That's you and me and Regatta. 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 There's no O in regatta. What? Regatta. Regatta. No, that sounds so. This sounds so. It's regatta. It's regatta. It's not regatta. regatta. So it's, it's a regatta show. <laughs> it is a regatta. Why don't we go get some ice cream and your pies? <laughs> I don't know where that was going. Send me some of them triscuits so we can have some regatta cheese on top. So let's have a party and some cucumber sandwiches. <laughs> sounds sounds really like good. It sounds better than. <laughs> Hey, boys, you want to get down to the regatta? Drink some Pinot Grenoire. You want to get down to the regatta? Regatta. Some... Regatta. An ant. Aunt. Aunt. It is aunt. There's no O in ant. No. There's a U. There's it's no ant. It's ant. It's, it's, if it was it's, ant, there would be no U in it. So? It's if not no ant, like, there'd be no U in you. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Sounds like a... <laughs> this oh. has been colloquialisms with uh. one three three seven after talk radio uh. <laughs> that go. was know, you, know. Why, you thought you moved away from that that got picked up perfectly oh, well. it was just too powerful yeah that actually hurt you ever burp and then it hurts you're like oh. you should go see a doctor with that let's crack a toe up crack a toe in the 1800s oh. Oh, I just had the craziest deja vu ever you were there get some triscuits and some crack a toe Oh, that's when you stub your toe on the table. It's Ritzy. The Indonesians thought it was God instead of okay, it was angry. Maybe you were the God. Yeah, damn right I am. If I'm going to be killed by something from the water, I want it to be Krakatoa. <laughs> I think we need more of this Ritzy. character. We need more of this character. It's the official it's, something. It's, um, it's Posh Bloke. Yes, it's it posh is. Guys. Posh Bloke. I don't care about poor people. They oh. can all 
eat my dirt. <laughs> As opposed to my Mark, no, no, no. There's a little bit left. You drink that. I'm <laughs> Give it up. I will do it in my own time. Steer this ship. Ugh. All right. Uh, so some nerd stuff. I've been playing a video game. What's a video game? <sighs> what called it? Path of Exile. Why? It's what? so boring. I've never heard of it's this. So Please pointless. explain it. I've played it. I need the premise. It's horrible. That's the premise. Yeah, let us know. It's an I- ARPG in the vein of Diablo 2. All right. You're running around. Killing Rogue- yeah, boy! And the devs what? are too lazy to make classes, so you can just build whatever you want. What are you talking about? Save the review to the end. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, you just run around killing. Yeah, boy! Get items. That sounds Get like power. a fun time. I don't see the problem with that. There's a gimmick with it, I guess. You- most people consider it a gimmick. The skill tree is like, are you familiar with Final Fantasy X's skill tree? No. But it's basically like this web of interconnected dots. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I do remember that. This is, that well, that's the same thing. It's like, like a... FF15 is the same, too. It, with FF10, you game? started at one point and you branched people off and it was like insane. I loved FF10, much. my absolute favorite. That was that was really crazy, actually. Well, this game's like that on steroids. Yeah. Remember oh, me and you right. playing that one summer? Me and you playing FF10, you getting sucky and not want to play anymore because the Chocobo Eater kept killing you. Kept pushing you off a ledge. Remember <laughs> that? No. I remember. The same I remember year playing that it, but I don't remember why we quit. Well, we didn't quit. You quit. And uh, it was the same year that Return of the King came out on DVD and yeah, boy! stole it from... Yeah, boy! All kinds of quacks it right there. Well, you know what happened to him? He's serving... He's now in prison. Life ...for other crimes against man. Ro- steal, uh, robbing a convenience store You're under arrest for knife. not changing your jacket too often. Con- not using the right for during card. dinner. Token good name. Yeah. What was the name of the game again? You said... Path of Exile. It's on Steam. It's free to play. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. His devs couldn't that, that, in good conscience now, charge for that. Yeah, boy. Now with the with the free to pet the free to play moniker is is a pretty scary thing. Mm. I mean, it's, it's very ethical, you could say. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Everything yeah. is just appearances only. Okay, but there is some, okay. There, you can pay for you, you have like a stash. You it's know, not pay to win. Diablo style, you can put items in your stash okay. to that hold sounds, them, but okay. you can buy more space with money. That's the okay. only thing. So it's like little. It's not like pay to win. That's what you're saying. Okay. And and that's and and I gotta say that free to play has burnt me out in that kind of context. It's like yeah, I don't. You, I used to look at free to play and think awesome, a free game. But now I look at it and yeah, say like they're like, just gonna rip me off. I'm not gonna. Even or it's gonna. Or it's gonna be you're gonna be grinding for forever while some other person can pay fifty bucks and get. And, Max level, and, like, or, yeah, and, or and, and sort of, and waiting. that's and that's yeah. sort of like what that does is when you think of a, a video game like one that you throw in your Xbox 360 or one you buy off of Steam that's done by Ubisoft. Pong. <laughs> when 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 they say to go through the main story is 15 hours, you know how much you're going to be doing, yeah. how much time you got. With a free to play game, it's sort of like I've put thirty six hours of a free runner, and I'm trying to get you know this skin for my you know what I'm talking about a skin yeah. for this character for my character, and I've done it for thirty six hours. It's sort of like, or I could have play, paid two ninety nine and been there in half at a time. It's sort of like yeah, I don't know it. it Am I doing it as quick as everybody, or if is there people that got there at, you know, hour forty six without paying their yeah. two ninety nine? I, would hate to I say don't know. It, but I've got like, there's a, you know, said I don't know. If it's no, my mentality now is that I've not that I'm like roll. I'm not uh, Scrooge McDuck jumping into a gigantic <laughs> thing of money, swimming around. And but coins. I've got I've got more time than money. I would rather pay a buck or two for a game. Yeah, it used to be a store. And, like enjoy it. A buck or two. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Rather than getting a free game that I don't know how long I'm going to be like pointlessly grinding or waiting for things to go through a little time cycle. Like, oh, you run oh so many actions. You need to come back tomorrow and get five more actions. Yeah. So you can finish this. Or yeah. you can pay another dollar. Simpsons uh, tapped out now. was like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I, that's I, the I bad know. kind of free-to-play games. And they know how to Clash get you. Clans. They know how to get your like little endorphins going. Be like... <sighs> You want just, just one more, man. Just one I more. don't. I don't have a lot of games on my phone, 
and I don't I, have a lot I of games either. on my tablet either. For a while I was, and, but then I just got it. Yeah. I, and and, that's, and my, that's the reason why. I got an iPad on the way, and I think cruddy. I'm not because I don't play any games on my phone. I use my tablet no. every day and for long stretches of time. But I use it for everything besides. I got. I don't think I've ever had a game on it. Wipe your ass with it. Oh man, yes. I think Candy Crush because hmm. that's the only game that I play on my phone. I don't yeah. even play that. Yeah, Do you know, I'm addicted that, to that. Someone yeah, that but. we you were talking about earlier. Yeah, uh, you said you wanted to. I don't remember what you said. PP, yeah, absolutely, horribly, hopelessly addicted to Candy Crush. He also is horribly, oh. hopelessly addicted to pizza and cigarettes. Oh God, <laughs> we, were, cigarettes. we were at work the other day, and I like getting talking to him because he's yeah. all right, you know, talk to it's best kind, do anything yeah, yeah. for you. And um, anything. Huh? Well, let's not let's leave his More personal life out of it. Imagine. Yeah, and uh, he has the the <laughs> gruffest. He's only like forty odd, forty eight, I think. Even emphasis on the. Are odd. you serious? Yes, yes. That's what a life He's, a hard life of hard a hard ass duty. life of He's cigarettes and stress. I swore he could have been as old as he my looks father. Like he's sixty. Yep, but anyway, I agree. he's in his forties. <laughs> so shitty. No way. Yes, he is. No, yes, he is. You know who's older no. than him? Yeah, boy. Me. Yeah, boy. He's older than. Yeah, boy. He turned fifty tonight. Yeah, he's having a little uh, open bar surprise party. Gary is older speak. than him. Even but anyway, uh, he came in the other night. That don't make any he's sense. He's the me. biggest Leafs fan I ever seen. Oh, yes, he is. <laughs> he's sitting, oh, right he next is. To, sitting right next to him. Go, Leafs, go. And uh, I'll check the score. I actually, see if they're losing. You know, if they're winning, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> and uh, he was in, and we were just talking. And then I said something like, oh, we were talking about watching hockey. And he's like, yeah, I want to go to Fermat. Because he talks to Nick Blake. You know he has a really gruff, mm-hmm, sm- chain smoking yeah. voice. And that's kind of how he talks. He doesn't have an indoor voice. He's one of them. He kind of trusts each other. Yeah. It's it's just, just, someone, yell someone put his knob time. up and yanked it off and there's no putting it down. It was his boyfriend. Cranked up and, to um, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> he, uh, he, uh, was talking about going to Fermont and I was like, oh, God, see some strippers. He's like, no, I want pizza. And then when he said it, I looked at Mike and then we started laughing. Just like, you see that old like the uh, uh, Olsen twins. Like, was that music? Guys, video? yeah. Pizza Rogue One's playing Thursday. Whoa, 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 whoa. Thursday. Thursday. What? What? Rogue okay, One's I'm playing. I'm off. I'm going. The, uh, I'm not. The I'm going uh, in Vermont. Rogue One's playing. You're calling sick. I'll, I'll, I don't think it would be playing during the day. It'd be seven o'clock. during the night. Seven o'clock. Yeah. Mike, I'm on stupid ass call. Let's go. Let's go, Mike. Let's go, Joe. Let's go. Oh, okay. It's not Star Trek, so it doesn't count. Not into darkness. Yeah. They're playing it on Thursday <laughs> night for some reason. Time. Yeah, it when I walked by I, I noticed the Maybe someone the got the poster. time messed up. Maybe it's actually the weekend. No, it said it's it's special time oh, they were like, on Thursday or some special no, really, Thursday. I know, I want to go see it so bad. There was a, I got it on my Android box. But is it is I it good? I got a, co- I got a good okay. copy. It's okay. It's a it's a cam, but like yeah. it's I gotta decent. talk to that guy you introduced you know, me to and get one of those hooked up. They're pretty awesome. You need to see. Okay, I don't know what the hand motion meant, but okay. Oh, I'll talk to you after we I'll tap are my done bill. recording. Not once, not twice, but thrice. anyway. Anyway, this was uh, this is a good time as any to, to uh, say good night. All right, for this episode. Mm. Um, it's been on, fun. Yeah, it's been a different one. Uh, yeah. It's been a pretty strange event. Yes. Doctor Strange. That's right. Doctor Strange event. It's always like this when I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, since you're the guest, why don't you... Why don't you bring us out? Bring us out. Bring us out. Plug your shit. Yeah, boy! What? Plug right. your shit. Yeah, boy! I don't have shit to plug. Yeah, you do. Why not? That isn't important enough. Metal you Mayhem need to plug Warlock. your shit. Yeah, boy! Metal Mayhem Do you know name? What about it? Do you, want, you, don't want to, you don't want people to watch it? <laughs> If they want it, they can find it. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. You, it's okay, funny. Man. You tend to get more views than our episodes. Like seven. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> One of them got like a, a bunch. A yeah, bunch. That's probably me. So, so just uh, yeah, just rewatching it. I, I do. Kind of, like, go back. And he puts it on. Repeat. I've listened to that newest episode all week long. Like I've listened see, to. See that? See that? Audience retention right there. I go back to him like I would. Re- I, I like would be. That. I would like retain me for putting the pictures. Go back and listen to that. <laughs> you Ripper. Good song. What? What should we say? It was good songs. Which one? The Ripper. 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 Ripper.
Ripper. Ripper's a good band. I like him. <laughs> By Judas Priest? No. The band is Ripper. Oh, jeez, no, man. So bring us out there, Joe. What do I say? <laughs> well, this this, is, this has been a, episode 27, Eight. 28. 28, and this is 1337FM, New Dance Studios. That's it, right there. And follow right. us on Twitter, follow us on oh. Fate, add us on Facebook, like, subscribe on YouTube, visit our website, uh, website 1337FM, nerddocradio.com. Am yeah, I correct in saying that? Exactly. Yeah, Made by a very talented lady, so yeah. go take a look. It's, re- it's, well, really, it's really pretty. She's there might kind be, of talented. There yeah. might be a blog kind of talented? there at some okay. point. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's, it's been a good one. Go check it out. And this is everything. Goodbye.